Morning, friends. This is your sister in Christ, Liz. The house of Judah people. This is your sister at the Jerusalem house. Been with the ministry for about a year and a half now as a resident. Started out in the original house, Jericho. One of the, I'm one of the uh, original founding residents. And um, now I'm at the Jerusalem house. And I am about to move on to my next step in my journey, which is uh, moving out. And I'm really sad about it. I'm walking around the neighborhood now, and uh, this is a beautiful neighborhood, really beautiful neighborhood. The blessing, one of the biggest blessings about the Judah houses is that they are in beautiful neighborhoods. They're beautiful houses. And, um, you know, I've opened the door to people who had the same reaction that I did the first time I saw the house, which is, wow, this is where I'm going to live. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so my testimony of uh, House of Judah is just that there's beautiful houses. These are the Rolls Royce of group homes. I have been in some others, which, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you, um, I don't think you can find better than this. I could be wrong, but um, in my opinion, um, if you're looking for a group home, this is probably the best place you can go. Um, I just need to move out right now because God has some plans for me. And I need to have some solitude. I need to be alone. I need to have some focus. And, um, you know, I, I uh, have a little bit of an attention deficit disorder. So I kind of, you know, really need to just be able to be in my own space, in my own head, and not have any distractions right now. And I may come back in the future. I don't know. I may end up coming back because it's good to know that these homes are always here. They're safe, which is the reason why I was here. I didn't come here for recovery, even though um, these are recovery homes, but I came here because there's safe homes and there's safety in numbers. And uh, so I, I didn't have to sleep with one eye open during my duration of my stay. And that was a blessing. It was a big blessing. But God needs me to, to move out for a while now. And um, like I said, maybe at some point in the future, I'll come back. It is sad leaving. I'm very sad to leave. It's, I'm going to miss, you know, my friends. I'm going to miss waking up and saying good morning and having breakfast with people. And uh, there's some things I'm not going to miss, but, um, you know, but all in all, uh, I like group home living, you know, um, but, you know, there, there, there is a lot of distractions. And, you know, right now, like I said, I just can't have the distractions. I did miss group home living when I had moved uh, to Florida. Uh, I, I, this was before I was with Judah. I had been in a different group home. And I remember um, thinking about how I really missed the fellowship of having people, you know, to wake up to. Back then I used to smoke cigarettes. So I used to have my cigarette and coffee, go, out, go outside, smoke my cigarette, have my coffee and talk to my friends. It is just, you know, it's, it's, it's really nice just to have that, you know, to have people like that around different personalities, different opinions, different points of view. And, um, whoop, little dog, little dog barking at me. <laughs> Good morning. Scared me. <laughs> Anyway, um, hi, little dog. Two little dogs. It scared me. Anyway, so, um, yeah, it is really nice to be able to have all of that. So, anyway, um, I want to wish everybody a happy holiday. And um, if you are new to House of Judah, just hang tight. If things are a little rough, just pray about it. It'll get better.
there's always some rocky patches and they pass you know the old saying this too shall pass lord is good and uh, you're in a good place you're in a really good place so i'll pray for you right now heavenly father in the name of jesus i'd like to pray for all the people in the house of judah father uh, the present houses and the future houses, Father, and the people that have moved on, Father. I want to pray for all of us, Father, because, Father, we know that you call us to these homes. There is no accident when we come into the, the house of Judah, Father. We are called. We are your ecclesia. You're called out once. And we, we know that when we come that you have a plan. You have a plan for our life. So, Father, um, please just bless everybody in these homes. Please give them the ability to endure. Please give them wisdom. Please give them understanding of what they need to do to be able to make things peaceful in their atmosphere for themselves and for their, uh, their roommates, for the other residents. Father, um, just keep these homes safe and let your Holy Spirit rule and let your Son rule and reign over these houses always. And I pray this, Father, and I thank you, Father, for our, our blessed Jesus that we love. In his name I pray, amen. All right, everybody, have a beautiful day. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Bye now.